Okay, so I thought we'd just do a little recap of the formulas. So we have the slope formula. And that says the slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x. But that's the slope formula, y sub 2 um, minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And I'm saying x sub 2, meaning it's a subscript, okay? Um, I don't know if you can hear that over the video. Uh, you're probably like, what is she saying? All right, then we have the point slope form, and that is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. And we use point slope when we know a point and the slope. That's, that's what it's used for. And this is to find an equation. So remember the x and y that you have, this x and this y, those are going to be the variables in the end. So it'll be in terms of x and y. In terms of x and y. You're going to get the equation. The equation. So we'll say find an equation, and you're going to find it in terms of x and y. Okay. Then we have um, the slope-intercept form. And they usually call it the slope-intercept form, but it's actually the y-intercept. We know we have more than one intercept, or we could have more than one intercept. And that says y equals mx plus b. Um, so all linear functions can be written in that form. So you could also write it as a linear function. And that tells you what the slope is and the y-intercept. Then we have a horizontal line, horizontal line is a function, y equals some number, say c, um, and you could also write it as f of x equals c, because this is a function, okay, this is a function. Okay, we also have a vertical line. which is x equals some number, it is not a function. Okay, and remember, um, when you have the horizontal line, the slope is zero. Here, the slope is undefined. So you have to make sure you're specific on that. And then the other thing we had was the general form of a line. Uh, usually we don't see the general form so much when we're graphing, but uh, we do use it in other things, so, and they can give it to you in general form. So that's the general form, and usually if you're going to want to graph, you're going to want to put it in the slope-intercept form or use the intercept method to graph or something like that. Okay.